If you want to dilate your cervix faster, then you need two things. First, you need a soft cervix because otherwise your cervix will not be able to dilate once labor starts. Mm -hmm. And second, your body needs the right kind of hormonal balance because your hormones are the key to get contractions going. Without contractions, your body cannot go into labor and so your cervix won't be able to dilate. Right, so in this video, we provide you with a list of completely natural tools that you can apply in the comfort of your own home. Their purpose is to help your body with both your cervical softening as well as with the right hormonal balance. Mm -hmm. In fact, we call them the tools for labor preparation because they can help your body get ready for labor. Yes. And applying them can be enough for you to go into labor completely naturally and to even do it fast as many of my clients have reported back to me. Right. However, we will also discuss two more natural tools just in case your body still does not go into labor by itself mm -hmm. or if it's not going fast enough for you. We call them tools for labor induction because they can help a woman go into labor within 72 hours and in some cases even within 12 hours. Coming up right after this. Hello mommy, we are Natalie and Matthias and we produce videos which help you and your baby naturally and science-based. So if you like, you can now hit the subscribe button to get notified whenever we publish a new video. As usual, when it comes to anything related to your pregnancy, please talk to your healthcare provider first before you try anything that we mention in this video. With that said, let's look into our list of tools to help you dilate faster, starting with our labor preparation tools. Right. First on the list, we've got eating dates. Eating between 60 and 80 grams of dates per day is a great way to help soften your cervix, according to scientists. Therefore, women who are eating dates in their late pregnancy are more likely to go into labor spontaneously, according to studies. Why is that? Well, Remember, your cervix can only dilate once it is soft, right? And so if you help your body soften your cervix way before your due date, it will be able to dilate much faster eventually. Just be careful if you suffer from diabetes because dates contain lots of sugar. Yeah. Next on the list, we've got either acupuncture or acupressure. Both tools rely on the stimulation of acupressure points in order to positively influence labor-related functions in your body. Yes, and just in case that you think that this is all just hocus pocus, <laughs> the reality is there are tons of scientific studies out there about the many benefits of both in terms of labor preparation. And so both acupuncture and acupressure can work really well according to scientists if you want to soften your cervix, but also for relaxation. Relaxation is important to help release oxytocin, which is the very hormone you want to focus on to get contractions going, particularly if you're looking for ways to dilate faster. Exactly. Now, it is advisable to go see a professional acupuncturist, but many of my clients prefer to apply acupressure themselves at home. That's right. And if that's the case for you too, don't worry, applying this stuff is really easy. <laughs> In fact, we have not only created a PDF guide that teaches these things, mm -hmm. we have also produced a video which explains in detail what you need yeah. to do. So please bear with us. We will tell you exactly where to find these free resources at the end of this video. Yeah. Okay, next on the list we've got exercise. Scientists have found that women who exercise from week 38 onwards are less likely to be medically induced at the hospital. And so exercise is another great tool to help your body prepare for labor and to dilate faster. Mm -hmm. In general though, it is not recommended to do these crazy workouts when you're pregnant. Instead, going for a 30 minutes walk at least three times a week at a speed of four kilometers per hour, which is about 2.4 miles per hour, is what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, scientists have also praised the positive effects of using a birthing ball for exercising during late pregnancy. In fact, women who had used a birthing ball during late pregnancy had a much better bishop score, which is basically a measure for how ready your cervix is for labor. On top of that, they also had higher oxytocin levels and severer uterine contractions. Mm. By the way, we have plans to record a video on how to use a birthing ball. Mm -hmm. And if we have published it already by the time when you watch this video, you should now be able to see it somewhere at the top of your video screen. If you cannot see a link pop up at the top of your screen, well, that means we have not recorded it yet. Sorry. Sorry. 
Okay, all right. So next on the list, we've got reflexology, which is kind of an acupressure-based foot massage. Right. Reflexology allows us to do multiple things. First of all, it allows us to work on your pelvis to engage the baby with the intention to further soften the cervix. Mm -hmm. Moreover, it allows us to help the body release oxytocin by stimulating your pituitary gland and by helping your body relax. And finally, reflexology could even help you with first contractions by stimulating your uterus. Although these contractions will hardly ever mean the beginning of labor. Yeah, that's right. And again, if you want to know exactly which reflexology points to massage and how to find them, mm -hmm. please bear with us. You can find detailed instructions in our PDF guide as well as in the video that I've mentioned earlier. All right. So next on the list, we have got sex. Mm -hmm. And we only really mention sex because we do know quite a lot of men and women who do swear by sex oh, as yeah. a means to their later. That's faster. very true, actually. Yeah. <laughs> However, scientists are still indifferent if it can really help you dilate faster. Mm -hmm. Basically, there are two main reasons why sex is supposed to help you with labor. First of all, semen contains prostaglandins. Mm -hmm. These are chemicals which can help relax tissues. Therefore, it is hoped that they help soften the cervix and even trigger uterine contractions. The other reason is the female orgasm. In theory, it could help a woman with contractions. However, they are usually only just Braxton Hicks, which are fake contractions. Yes, but one thing is for certain. If you want to try sex to dilate faster, it needs to be unprotected vaginal sex and both partners need to have an orgasm. That's all I'm going to say about this. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to know more about if and what kind of sex can help induce labor, then check out the video that you can now see somewhere at the top of your video screen. Okay, so those were the tools for labor preparation. Mm -hmm. Now, if you apply them diligently, chances are that you A, go into labor naturally all by yourself and B, do it much faster than you would have normally done without these tools because now your body is ready for labor. And since your body is ready for labor, you can now apply the tools for actual labor induction if you still haven't gone into labor or if it's not going fast enough for you. So let's have a look at the tools for labor induction. Right. The first tool is nipple stimulation. To be precise, nipple stimulation is a bit of a hybrid tool, i.e. it is a tool for both labor preparation and labor induction. In fact, if your cervix is not soft at this point, then nipple stimulation can help you with that, according to scientists from India. However, normally, if you have prepared your body for labor, then your cervix should be soft at this point. And if that's the case, Nipple stimulation can help you get contractions going and even go into labor quite fast. In fact, according to scientists, it could happen within 72 hours. But they do point out that it is only likely to work if your cervix is soft at this point. So again, labor preparation is important if you want to delay it faster. Stimulating your nipples involves a combination of rubbing and tweaking your nipples with your fingers and stimulating them with your whole palm. Mm -hmm. If that's something you want to try, don't worry, we will teach you exactly how to do right. it. So please bear with us till the end of this video. And if nipple stimulation has not helped you go into labor fast, well then there is only one last resort which can help you with that. Castor oil. Exactly. A castor oil cocktail has helped many women go into labor in clinical studies in less than 48 hours and in some cases even within 12 hours after the intake of castor oil. Mm -hmm. However, keep in mind the castor oil seems to work much better for women who have given birth to at least one child in the past already. Mm -hmm. Now, according to scientists, castor oil seems to be safe for the baby. Mm -hmm. However, the reason why we still recommend it as a last resort only is because it is basically a laxative. Right. In fact, almost every single woman in scientific studies felt nauseous after the intake of castor oil. And in some cases, women had severe gastrointestinal irritations, including vomiting and diarrhea. That's right. So do ask yourself if this is really how you want to go into labor. Yeah. Still, if you have tried everything that we've mentioned in this video and you still haven't gone into labor, castor oil seems to be the best option to dilate fast, mm -hmm. according to scientists. If that's something you want to try, you will find detailed instructions, including how much castor oil you need, in both our video and in our PDF guide. That's right. 
So now you have two options. You can either simply download our PDF guide from our website. And in order to do this, simply follow the link that you can find in the description below this video. Alternatively, you can watch the video that you can now see somewhere at the top of your screen. But you can also find the link to that video in the description below this video. Yes, and we do recommend that you have a look at both resources because the file provides you with all the little details while the video shows you an actual video of how to apply the tools, etc., mm -hmm. which many have said is quite convenient. But in general, both resources teach you a complete action plan for natural labor preparation and induction, including all the tools that we mentioned in this video, in order to help you delay it faster. And just that you know, what we teach in there has helped many, many of Natalie's clients with exactly that. That's right. So both the PDF guide and the video basically teach you how to apply the tools that we mentioned in this video. For example, how to find and massage acupressure or reflexology points, how to do nipple stimulation, etc. But most importantly, we also talk about how safe these tools are for both yourself and your baby, as well as when to start with each tool as you approach your due date. Mm -hmm. And just that you know, it does not matter if you are at week 37 or week 40 of your pregnancy. You will find an action plan to delay it faster for every possible scenario. Oh, and also we have a birthday present for your baby, you know, for when your little one is born. Well, actually, you and your baby will both benefit from that gift, particularly if you value your good night's sleep, right? Yep. <laughs> we won't tell you what it is, nope. though. But do trust us, you are going to need this. Mm -hmm. To claim your free gift, simply click the link that you can find in the PDF guide once your baby is born. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos from us about pregnancy-related topics. And of course, we will also be here for you with baby-related videos once your baby is born. Thanks so much for watching this video and if you have found it helpful, consider leaving us a like if, if you, you like. like.